Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Get Geometrics Engineering where we learn about geometrics engineering and prepare you for it. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel to support us. In last lecture, we describe about projection type. Here we describe about projection parameters and the projection type which is mainly used for projecting a data into a map. So, there are two types of projection parameters. Number one is linear parameters, number two is angular angular parameter so in linear parameter there is two type of sub part false string and false notching okay so if we take this is y coordinate and this is x coordinate okay we are describing here false string and false notching this is the origin this is a true origin the value is 0 comma 0 so false string actually it's a distance applied to the origin of the x coordinate okay false string for x coordinate and false notching applied on the y coordinate and if this is x and this is y y axis then this is positive positive quadrant this is negative positive this is negative negative and this is positive negative okay so for calculating a location suppose a program location is present here okay here then the location value in the actual uh, earth surface it's negative negative but for calculation purpose we shift this true origin from here to here and make this location as a origin and from here we start calculating the distance for other place okay suppose this value is in negative string in like negative 5 and negative 5 this value the point value is minus 5 and minus 5 for that this negative value becomes into the origin 0 comma 0 and from here we start calculating the process of this false string and false notching totally help to calculate the distance value from the another from a point to another point of any map okay and the angular parameters and the angular parameters there was azimuth central meridian central parallel and standard parallel we know about azimuth azimuth is a angular measurement okay it's a angle measurement uh, in a compass from north from north on a map okay and central meridian we know the central line of the meridian and the central pyramid which is present on the earth surface it's a imaginary line we know we discuss about this uh, topic in our previous lecture and we we'll, in our last lecture we we'll discussed this standard parallel okay please uh, go to that lecture and know about this cent uh, central median central parallel and standard parallel so next we come to the common map projection type there is three common map projection type those are polyconic pro projection lambert's azimuthal equilateral projection and utm projection okay let's discuss it one by one in polygonic projection the characteristic it is complex but simple constructed okay it is complex but simple constructed created by the lining up an infinite number of cones okay from the name polygonic we know this there is infinite number of cones present along the central media okay and the medians are complex curves except the central media and parallels are non central if you see the image then we know what does it means from the characteristics okay so there is from this image there is a number of many cone is present okay like this way and also suppose uh, parallelly like this is a cone also cone is present like this okay 
So when the cone present like this on the arc surface, then the projected arc surface comes into map like this. Okay. For this cone, this map is pre prepared for this, this and for this, this. There is a number of how number of cone is present. That number of projected map is prepared here. Okay. This is a earth surface. For this projected map, the central parallel is common for all. But central median is different. Which is mean by this point. This is created by lining up an infinite number of cones. There is infinite number of cones along the central median. First, one central, central median, this cone. For this central median, this cone. Okay. But thing is that the value of this median line and this median line is same. Okay. There is common one median line is present at the joining point of the cone. Okay. For this cone, this median line is present like this way and for this cone, this common median line present like this way. The value is same. Okay. The parallels are non-centric. Okay. Means if you see the distance of this block. Okay. Or the area of this block is less than this block. Okay. So the area is increasing from here to here. Okay. Uh, rapidly increasing also this way the area of this block is less than this block okay that's why it called non-centric the advantage actually the polygonic projection preserve area safe distance azimuth for small area using polygonic projection we calculate the say area value distance and azimuthal value Okay, we know uh, in the last lecture from okay the best part of the polygonic projection represent the north to south extent okay means from the north to south extent the polygonic projection is based for projected the earth surface there is also some disadvantage value it's not recommended for the large areas because of distortion come for distortion comes for the large areas okay for the small area it's negligible but when it comes for the large area there was distortion curve and uh, which is not appropriate for projected the earth surface into a map next we come to the lambert azimuthal equilibrium projection from the name we know about what does it means Mainly, it's a azimuthal projection system. Okay, we know what is azimuthal projection. In our last lecture, we go through the azimuthal projection, and there was also a point. This is equal area. Okay, so in the characteristic, it is azimuthal projection, and the area is equal, and the center is the center. Okay, the center is free from distortion, and there are application of this. Azimuthal equilibrium projection for eastern and western hemisphere. Okay, and the maps of ocean and most of the continents and polar regions is used this equal uh, equilibrium uh, equilibrium projection. Okay, next we come to the most important projection system, which is UTM. The full form of the UTM is Universal Transverse Marketer Projection. Okay. The characteristics of this projection is conformal. It's mostly used for topographic map on USGS. It provides the accurate mapping. And latitude and longitude gap is 6 degree for longitude and 8 degree for latitude. And there is 60 zones. Each 
6 degree of longitude in width fall system value is 5 million and the false rotting value is 10 million okay so if we see the image then we can describe this point uh, accurately or in a good way so this is a projection of UTM so if you see the latitude this is the latitude line this way the latitude line the gap of this latitude line is 8 degree like see this is 20, 72 degree latitude line this is 80 degree the gap of this latitude line is 8 degree and the longitude gap is 6 degree like see this is 168 and this is 180 this is 6 degree gap and this is 6 degree gap so the zone zone means this is one zone this is totally one a zone okay right this is totally this block with this first block is one zone so how 60 zone come we know the earth surface mainly we take as a circular for that this is 360 degree and each zone contain 6 degree okay from here we know the total zone is 60 degree sorry 60 number of zone is present for if presenting the earth surface in UTM projection and every zone take the 6 degree longitudinal gap okay so here is the limitation in UTM projection suppose a area present like this means a area acquired or present in different different zones this part present in one zone this part in two zone this part in three zone and this part in, is in fourth zone okay for that case the distortion and error comes number of zone increases and distortion is also increases like that if the number of zone increase then distortion is also increase okay this is a limitation so there is also another a type of projection system which, which is rarely very rarely used it is known as latitude longitude geographic coordinate system it's also known as unprojected latitude longitude geographic coordinate this type of projection uh, very rarely used because of its provide less amount of data of a earth surface and uh, of a earth feature okay the extent of latitude is minus 90 degree to plus 90 degree and the longitude extent is minus 80 degree sorry minus 180 degree to plus 180 degree okay this is all information about the projection system of map okay uh, so if you have any doubt or question regarding this projection type of maps and the projection parameters okay and uh, how to project the surface please let us know in our comment box and you can also uh, mail to us for your doubt okay thank you and if you are new to our channel please subscribe our channel to support us thank you thank you everyone